Okay, we're gonna start with our top-down analysis uh, for the current week. Uh, it's gonna comprehend from the 17th to the 20th. Uh, pretty much Friday 21st doesn't have uh, news or dr news drivers, so we're gonna focus on Monday 17th to Friday 21st when we only have news on up to the 20th. Also, uh, July 19th, Wednesday, we had uh, earnings, Tesla and Amazon. No, I'm sorry, Tesla and Netflix came out. Okay, so, so far, as we see on a monthly chart, we have a fair value gap in the form of a CV. We rated by sell liquidity and then we extended above the range that comprehends the or or that was held in price was holding price. I'm sorry. Um, inside a uh, inside the fair value gap or the inefficiency here. Then. If we go to a bi-weekly chart, we're gonna identify that we are trading kind of inside this order block or possible order block so far. We, we're having a reaction to it. Weekly chart, we identify swing points. This high and this low is our monthly fair value gap. This high was already traded through and this high is what's left. Inside here, there's another fair value gap. From this low to this high, you have an inefficiency. So what you can actually do as well, it's place a GAN box or a FIBO and identify its equilibrium, which is close to here and we can color it black. All right, we know that we have a high and this uh, imbalance on the weekly, it's already traded through. So just to understand on the weekly time frame, we were consolidated inside of it, okay? And then we used this one candle on the weekly as an order block to expand higher. Daily time frame, same perspective. You came into a daily fair value gap right here. From there, you expanded higher and retraced into this candle and use that as an order block, but it all comprehends this candle. This is your true order block. This is the low, or this is the candle that it's rating the liquidity pool. This candle, after it trades through and back to it, it's gonna be used as an order block. So this is what I teach as your, as your Supercharge over block on the daily chart. Okay. Bottom right. There you go. Based on time of day, we can actually tell how we can uh, uh, treat this setup. Why? or explain me more. Well, focus on, uh, I, I always focus on market profiles and we have different profiles just such as um, Wednesday or Tuesday, low of the week, high of the week, so on and so forth. Thursday reversal, Tuesday high of the week, Tuesday low of the week, right? So, we know that
the low or high of the week is mostly said by Wednesday. This means that there might be some times where Monday is actually the low of the week. And if it's the, like that, where on Monday it's the low of the week, it means that when you get by Friday, you should have some sort of retracement. Immediately you think like that. If it's a Thursday that it's rating the lows, then it's a Thursday reversal. And Friday it's going to continue, depending if it's already rated uh, by a liquidity pool on the daily chart. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it all depends on the context. I always talk about the narrative, right? For example, this low is a Wednesday. This uh, uh, open, it's a Thursday. You see? It was Friday. Yeah right here that had a high and that high was uh, traded through on the daily chart on a Tuesday. Tuesday aimed to uh, or wanted to seek for the verbally gap inside the daily time frame. Once it did that and it rated the low on a Wednesday you immediately set the low of the week because it was just a retracement. Once the high was rated to come back to discount to push higher. You see? Now, yeah. think about it. You're on a bullish condition. This area of price action is not random at all. This low, if you think about it, it's coming from this high or this candle from August 2022. If you think about it, once the market leaves this area, so once it's right there, now you confirm that you set a no, uh, higher high. If you think about it, if it's bullish and if it's truly bullish and you want to continue targeting more PD arrays on the left side of the curve, you're going to use this high as a breaker. There you go. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Understand the turtle soups. So you have like three stages, right? Your first entry on the turtle soup model, turtle soup model, right? Or average model. You have three types of entry that you can take, or you can take three of them if you want to. Meaning, the first one, it's the turtle soup itself which is the low that rates the low or the high that rates the high on the daily chart, on the weekly chart, monthly chart, right? Depending on the narrative. Then once that low is rated, remember it's going to have that, that turtle soup is going to happen after the order block, it was already formed. So when the price after expands and changes the state of delivery, it's going to retrace retrace where into the order block that was or is close to the turtles then that's what i call the low risk entry right hey. and the other one is the breaker the breaker entry which is the high the resistance that turns support that's the breaker entry so three uh three types of entries that that you can take either bearish or bullish it don't matter right so if you think about it on the daily chart and you see this chart 
this is the lowest point. This will be your supercharge, right? This price is coming back to this candle, consolidating here, and then expanding higher. Boom. Changing the state of delivery. From there, you don't come back. You see? Same logic, same principle. Yeah. Same logic, same principle. This candle, it's your breaker. Consolidation right at it. Boom. Candles, wicks are being stopped by the, by the body. Let's change color so we can visualize it. Boom. It's not fucking random. This is algorithmic. Oh. This is algorithmic. This principle happens every freaking time. So look at, just go to your charts and you will see it. Same thing that happens, same fractal happens right here. One more time. You see? Boom. Mm -hmm. Consolidates. Boom. Expands again. <laughs> this works like that, bro. And and if you like literally um see the chart like that, it should act the same thing and have the same logic if you're on a bearish market. Don't matter. Okay. All right. So easily, uh, I just gave you a tip on how to trade this. Um, uh, a quick refresh on the super shoulder box and, and turtle soups and all that. Boom. Remember, this high was at a Friday. This high was rated a Tuesday. This, this Tuesday set the high retrace into a Wednesday. Wednesday retrace below the fur valley gap into the breaker. Then boom, expand the higher above the high from Tuesday and Friday. All the buys and liquidity that you built here. Three days look back. Remember what Michael says? Boom, you, you targeted Friday. You have gaps here, but you see when you exploded from here you created what what michael calls the breakaway gap price does not go back or does not need to go back because it's seeking for its target what was its target back then boom this monthly fur panic gap in the form of a cb same logic same principle this high is a friday this high is a monday Monday rates the high from last week or Tuesday or Friday. I'm sorry, you retrace back in the range. Tuesday fails to go higher than Mondays back in the range. Wednesday, what it does goes up, re rejects because it fails to put up high, a higher high. Immediately reaction downwards below the sell side liquidity, below the fur valley gap that you had here right boom into well what would it be an order block right this is an order block this is our fur body gap and explodes thursday reversal wednesday sets the low into the order block what happens uh during thursday thursday Rates the low, expands higher. Boom. Friday, Thursday, Friday. Above all the buys and liquidity that you created in the profile. Same same thing. Monday uh, opens right here where it closed and expands higher. Tuesday, little retracement into the close, daily close, expands higher. Wednesday. Below the open of the daily candle, expands higher. Thursday, below the open of the daily candle, expands higher. Friday, but now, you've been expanding since Monday. Don't be greedy, god damn it. <laughs> I remember I, I told Misk, why do you even look for buys and liquidity? If you're, don't be greedy, you've been expanding all day. This is, this is logic. You rated the high, and as soon as you rated the high, boom. If we want to understand how to trade that particular setup or that particular day, let's go back to it. So, this is the day, I guess. Should be. Uh, 
Friday. This is the one. How do you know? Well, easy. Thursday sets the high. You were coming up. See? Asia. London. You were coming up and coming up and coming up. 920. You expand higher. 925. You expand higher. Market's not even open that time. And you're expanding higher. You're just trapping people thinking, oh yeah, higher prices. Boom. Back down the range. I sold this. I remember I sold this. Um, hold up. Give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second. Right here. Hey. There you go. Fifteen two hundred seven something. That was my broker's uh, price, whatever. But. That's not the point. The point is that uh, I did sell that day. This is an hourly chart. And this is the fractal. This is my trade. to front you see it there you go so like I was saying by 9 30 on a 15 minute chart if you want to see it like that right 9.15, you were going up rate and buy sell liquidity from Thursday. 9.30 brings the price down. Boom. Immediate sales. I was already short then. Where do, what do you aim for? Well, inefficiencies. Once that it's happening, that you're here, what is the inefficiency on the daily chart that you have? Hold your trade over there. Boom all the way down to literally 14.960. So on a 15 minute chart, where's my trade? Yeah, right there, boom. See, you retrace to the daily fair valley gap that is around this level, this area, and then from there you expand it higher. In the next video, I'll be explaining this week. I'll just explain the whole month pretty much. Bye-bye.